Cześć, hi there. Uh, this is the seventh day, August 7th. That's Wojtek. Uh, we just had an awesome uh, lesson today, more about fascia. And uh, I'm, I, I don't know as much as he does about the subject, but I'm just going to give a short summary uh, about what we talked about. Um, and we, we initially spoke about uh, balance and how most people when they're doing exercises are looking for a stretch. They're just looking for a stretch and that's how a lot of people are approaching uh, doing uh, doing exercises, doing uh, yoga and, and stretches. But they should not be looking for a stretch, but rather they should be looking for a balance. Um, because the balance uh, between the muscular systems, between the body, is what's more important um, than simply the stretch. And um, people are sometimes putting their body out of whack uh, uh, th rather than rather than uh, making their body better, their fascia system better, um, and and that's that's not a really good thing. So, looking f look for a balance rather than a stretch, and and everything that you do, uh, and it's going to be much better for you in the long run. What else? Most people have to rebuild this pattern, especially if they're above a certain age and they haven't been taught about fascia. They've been in positions that are not so good for their body. And so they often have issues with moving their uh, their body in, in, in uh, certain areas that have tension, like the last video I said about fascia. Uh, and they have uh, those issues with the body, so they have to rebuild those patterns. And um, Wojtek told me of a story whereby a friend of his family, a friend of his family, uh, or, no, or, or just a friend, brought over their granddaughter and said, can you take a look at my granddaughter? And Wojtek said, yeah, sure. So the, they brought up the granddaughter and the granddaughter had uh, an issue with her body where she was, she was sort of over this way and, and so she was over and crunched down and she was walking in, in this sort of weird, strange way. And so Wojtek, with his knowledge of fascia, simply pinched her here. She was like this, bam. She came back normal. She was like this all that, all that time. And after the pinch of, of, the, of that fascia part of the body, you know, even just a small pinch, and the, the girl came back uh, into um, a proper, proper way. And that's because well, she was only 11. So her, she didn't have an overlay of bad patterns on her uh, you know, fascia on her body so she didn't her body didn't have all those stored up bad habits of walking and doing different things and she just stayed that way she was able to walk and uh, she was she was very good afterwards we went over to the field you might be able to see right over there and we took, had us take tennis balls actually and <laughs> put it uh, you know he had us lay down uh, <laughs> had us lay down over there um, at, you know, together, and put the tennis balls right underneath of our shoulder blade. And I was like, "What's what's going on? What is he doing?" So he put it, the, the tennis balls right underneath our shoulder blade, and had us sort of sit down with our knees bent. Knees bent because with our knees bent, we're able to move our the tennis balls up and down along our back, and that's what we were doing. Um, we lay down, put the tennis balls. Underneath of our right, underneath of our shoulder bone, not on the bone, right underneath the shoulder bone, uh, and inwards, not out, but in. And he had us sort of ex try slowly to extend our neck to breathe normally. And it's a shock. It's, it's a little bit of pain when you first do it, but to breathe normally, to concentrate on the beginning, to perhaps to massage our frontal uh, muscles here, uh, our our body and, and the and the front, um, and then to move our buttocks closer to our legs in order to move in order to move the balls down and up. We were able to do that. So move it closer to the legs, closer to the legs. And we were feeling the pressure of these tennis balls going further, further, further um, in, uh, on the body, but also to feel and try to strive for a sense of relaxation in the body. Uh, and that was uh, really important. Um, and it felt actually really good afterwards. You know, not a lot of us wanted to get up afterwards um, after having done it correctly. So that was this morning of August 7th, uh, day 7 
uh, which is a Friday. Uh, testing is today, um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And I wish you well. Dozo pachenia. See you later.